Here we are in Flint, Michigan, January 29th, 2016. We have checked into a hotel where they told us not to drink the water, but it's okay to bathe in. The question is, this water is not safe to drink. Why is it safe to bathe and shower in? And this is the water defense water bug that we are going to use to mimic the way we all encounter water. So right now the water bug is mimicking how someone's taking a shower or bathing. And the split second grab sample, which will take these for a split second, is what they're using throughout Flint. And that would be fine if we only took a bath for a split second or only took a shower for a split second. Here we are in Flint, Michigan, sunrise January 30th, 2016. And our water defense mission today is to get uh, baseline Flint River readings for all chemicals or the full gamut of potential chemicals of concern from not just lead, but all dangerous heavy metals and what's called volatile organic compounds and semi-volatile organic compounds. Because once we have what we call these baseline readings, we can then have an index and we can trace that throughout homes we test, hotels we test, schools we test, and so on. And we want to try to be able to figure out is, is the lead or the contamination just coming from the pipes since this has been almost two years since they switched the water here or are there other con contaminants going around. We're going to uh, test the river water at the top, middle, and bottom for the water column. This testing mimics the way humans or life encounters water. Uh, fundamentally, the instant grab sample testing that we're relying on, whether it's lead, metals, or any other chemicals in water, assumes that water is always in a steady state equilibrium or closed loop, which it is not. While helpful instant grab sample testing, when it yields a non-detect, that does not mean that there are no contaminants in the water. So here we go. We're gonna let this sit in the water for 30 minutes and then monitor the exposure over 30 minutes and what's really flowing in the Flint River. And, and uh, the water column, it, it looks like the, it's shallow here, maybe four feet from that. So hopefully the anchor's catching some sediment on the bottom. Four tentacles at a time. So this is a half an hour. We're gonna take four tentacles from the top. Yeah, there's one tentacle. And now we have the bottom and you can see we've got some sediment on that. So that'll be helpful to see what we're finding. Now, we will come back tomorrow morning and see what the exposure has been in the entire water column over 24 hours and what the contaminants are. After reviewing testing results from private residences in Flint, Michigan today, we have learned that they're only testing for one or two chemicals, obviously lead and maybe copper. There are about 200 other chemicals they need to be testing for. And we are testing for the full spectrum of chemicals. We're doing the sink and the bathtub. Oh, okay, okay. So we're running it just like you'd take a bath for yeah. 20, 30 minutes. Okay. This material, it attracts the contaminants and the metals like a magnet and repels clear water. So this basically has been in the bathtub for 20, 25 minutes, like you take a shower. Yeah. And then we, so that is with the filtered water. And we're gonna let that run for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. See, that was in there Okay. For about 25 minutes. Okay. Just like we're exposed to water, right? Okay. So this is I'm going to take just basically just a split second. So, you know, 
and this is what we illustrate. So we don't encounter like water like that. Okay. So, but we take a sample like that and then we compare it to this. We are in private residence home number four, where the water was shut off in December of 2014. From a forensic evidentiary point of view, this house is very important for the state of the pipes and reflects exactly what's frozen in time, exactly in two, December 2014, which may help us piece together all the different chemicals in what's happened to this community. Water defense, specialized technology will absorb and attract any contaminants that initially came out. And I don't, you know, me myself being a cancer patient, I won't touch this stuff just because I know my immune system is, you know, compromised from the chemo and stuff I've done. But I don't know if they're telling other people that. I don't think they are. They don't know what's going on down here yet. And I don't know if they're ever going to tell us. So that's why you. People like you are going to help us because you're going to tell us no matter what they say. So we are going to start our drive to the lab. Okay. So thank Perfect. you. Hey, yeah. oh. and, and we will be, hey, thank you for it. Good luck with everything. Hang in there. Okay. Let me know whatever yeah. I can do. As soon as I know. Okay.